Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we're going to continue on today. We're working with Divi4 here. Divi just gets better and better every day. And we're working with the new theme builder that's just been released. And what we're going to do today is I've got a site here with a few products as you can see. I've just imported these products from another project. And we're going to create a custom product page. Now if I click on one of these products, it'll take us to a generic sort of product page. And that's OK. But let's make it our own. And Divi makes this very easy for us now with our theme builder. It's pretty cool. So if I go back there, here's a little template that I did earlier. If I click on the shoes, I just applied it to the shoes categories. And as you can see, uh, I haven't spent a lot of time on the design, but I've customized it basically the way that I want it rather than the way WooCommerce throws it out there. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is go to our theme builder. Now, if you don't know where that is, it's down in Divi in the dashboard theme builder. Now we created some uh, global headers and footers in the last videos and some custom headers and footers. If you want to check out how to do that, have a look at those videos. I'll put the link below. So let's add a new template. And I want to apply it to a few of my product categories. So let's have a look. Let's go to specific products. And let's apply it perhaps to shirts today. Everyday shirts, lightweight shirts, casual shirts, and anything else you may want. That'll do for me for the moment. So I've added it to those categories. Go ahead and click the create template. It's by default added a global header and footer. If you don't want those, get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of that global header. I'm actually going to copy this one because I put a little for sale countdown timer in there. OK, so we've now got a custom header and a custom footer on our products. If I save the changes and as you can see, we've applied it to casual shirts and a couple other shirt category. So if I go to the home page again, let's go back to the home page. In fact, I could have done it right there. If I click on one of the shirts now, it should have a custom header and footer. There we go. It's got a the custom header with the, the countdown timer. And actually, it's the global footer it's got on the bottom, same as everywhere else. That's fine. But now we actually want to make this interior part our own. So let's go in back to the theme builder and start building. I'm going to add a custom body. Build custom body. And I'm going to start building from scratch. Divi just keeps getting better and better with these new features and everything. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. OK, well, I'm going to add a row. And we've got to sort of decide what we want on our, our product page. Let's scroll down to the new WooCommerce little modules here. Well, the first thing I want is the product title. So I'm going to add Woo title. And I'm going to leave it on this product. That way, it'll whatever product you're going to, it'll select the title for that product, which is fine. OK, I'm going to just fly through this. I'm not going to spend too much time on design, but I'll just give it a purple color just to make it our own. That's fine. OK, what else do we want? Well, we we'll want some product images. So let's add a new row, a little green button for a row. And let's perhaps make it a th two thirds and a third, something like this. And again, it's prompting us to put in a module. Let's put in uh, some Woo images. There we are. 
and I'll leave it for this product. It's pulling in generic ones at the moment because that kind of looks a bit strange. I'll give it a little bit of box shadow, sim something simple. That's fine. Okay, and what do we want on the right hand side here? Well, obviously, we want to add to cart button. So let's put one of those in. There it is, we add to cart. Fantastic, and again, I don't want to spend too much time on it. I'm just going to flip some of the colors here. Go with my little purple motif. As you can see, that's done that. Field, that's this right here. Let's give that background color of purple, text color of white. Scroll on down to the next one. Which is the button itself. Button text size, I'm gonna leave that absolute years. I am gonna use custom styles. Text color, let's have that white. Background color, let's have that purple. And you can't see it, but there's a white border around there, so I'm gonna make the border purple as well. Okay, great, so we've got our add to cart and our quantity. Let's add something else under here. Let's add some perhaps related products. Related products, there we go. Um, I'll just make that two columns, product count four, column layout, let's make that two columns, they'll become a little bit bigger. And what I'll do is I'll, it's got an overlay, overlay icon, let's make that white. Make the background color the actual overlay purple we want to be able to see through it a bit so i'll take that down there we go so we can see a little bit behind there that's fine image itself let's give it a bit rounded corners perhaps there we go because it's entirely up to you what you want to do i'm flying through this don't want to spend too much time on this side of it and but you do have to set this up the way you want it if you want it to work. Okay, the text, let's have that. Title text, purple, there we go. Product title text, junk. I'll tell you what we need to have in there. We haven't put a price in there. So I'll add a price above this in a moment. Price text. Again, I'm going to keep it very simple. Okay. So let's add a price. So it'll be woo price. There we go. And I'll make it bold, I think, just to stand out a bit more. And you've got your old sale price. Let's make that red. And you've got your new sale price. For things that are actually on sale, I do have a few items on sale there. And we'll leave that purple. What I'm going to do is just drag this one, left click, just want it under the add to cart. There we go, it's right there. Okay, what else do we really want here? Well, I guess we want a description. So let's add a description under this one, a little black one to add the module. Woo description. There we go. Not that I've got much. And I'm leaving it, every time I'm leaving it on this product, so it'll default to whatever product you, you've actually selected. It's fine, don't need a link. And let's just perhaps put in some upsells underneath here. 
So again, let's add a, another module and that'll be Woo Upsells. There we go. Of course, you can keep building and building to your, to your heart's content. I think what I'm going to do is I'll quickly just design those. I'll do the same as we did with our other ones. That was 10 pixels. And the overlay color was icon was white, overlay color was purple, but with about 50% opacity. I'm actually going to drag this down to a new row, I think, so it sort of stretches along the bottom. And you can keep building whatever you want on here upsells, links to other pages, galleries, whatever you want. I'm going to pretty much leave it here. I'm just going to add a new row. I'm not going to. I'll put a column there. I'm not going to put anything in it because I'm going to drag this one down. There we go. And I guess I better change that title to purple as well. Next, there we go. Okay, okay, let's leave it there. One more thing I might like to do at the moment, it's got this sort of white background. That may work perfectly for you, but if you wanted to put something else in the background, just go up to your section. Hit the background, obviously. And I'm going to add a background image. You can do a gradient or whatever you want. And here's a sort of gradiated image that I've just put up there 1920 by 1080 I think seems to work fine and that sort of offsets those purple colors like I say I've not put a lot of thought into the style you want to obviously spend a bit more time on it so I'm going to save my changes once saved just exit out as you can see we've got our custom body and it's applying to our shirts okay let's go back to site here I can just click on this to go to the home page there's the old one for the shirt now presuming I save this let's make sure I save those changes because if you don't save those changes on the actual theme page it won't work now when I click on one of the shirts it should have that custom background rather than that generic one we had earlier there you go, and as you can see, all, all our shirts now, or whatever product categories I selected, will now have this sort of layout. We've got our purples and our sale price and our custom buttons and what have you. So I hope that made sense. I know I f f flew through it quite quickly, but it uh, it is really easy to do. you just got to spend a bit of time working with your design, and you really can get some great results. So there's that custom header with the countdown timer back home again. Now, once we get home, let's look at something that we perhaps not applied. Here's the pants. And as you can see, it's got the generic kind of woo thing, but it's entirely up to you. You can style these all differently. You can have all your products with the same, however you want to do it. I'm not sure how long that took, about 10 minutes. And I was explaining it at the same time, so it does make it quite, quite quick. So well done, Divi. That is a great feature, and these new WooCommerce modules are working really well also. So thanks again. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.